Okay, uh, made a first video, but um, looks like our, our pot is bad for the, the uh, lift. Hydraulic pot is bad, so I'll show you how to set it up, and then um, it's gonna be the same thing for the traction and hydraulic. So you'll you'll see on there. We're pretty much it's so obviously you know um, brake pedal up. I have to recalibrate. Um, but pretty much you hold A and C, and then you'll see the dashes pop up. Right, so my this is function one, and it's set to um, eighteen. Right, uh, it'll tell you what, what what it's set up for. Um, using um, A and C, as you can see, you can scroll through. So function four is set to fifteen, five to nine, seven to twenty-seven. See, so you hold so you hold A, and then C to move up. D moves you down. See, seven, six. Seven, eight. So you tap it. C increases. D decreases. Um, so the first step is the reason you're not able to set it up is um, you don't have the zero zero one. So to do that, you have to go to function thirty one and set it from thirty one fifty to thirty one seventy five. So a, using A and C, you scroll to function thirty one. 31, set at 3150. Um, if you look here, 3150. So set 31 to value 75. So being here, just using C, you'll see that the value goes up. 3175. 3175. So pressing buttons B and D will erase the model code. So press B and D together. Oops. See, one is reset, and by default it's at 14. You need um, BC, you need 21. Um, so using obviously this, using C, you can scroll to 21, right? Using C, you'll scroll to 21. Um, mine is 18 because mine is a NSO 40 AD, yours is 21. So you would just keep scrolling with using C to go to 21. See, um, so I'm gonna set mine at 18. Mine's at 18. We're good. Uh, this will set it up. So this is telling the truck this is my model number, right? Um, once there, just use the same AC um, to go to the next setup. There's only three, four things you need to do. Um, you set up truck number, which is the truck model code. You calibrate the hydraulic potentiometer, and then you calibrate the uh, traction potentiometer. Once you've done that, you will go to function uh, 30 and you exit. And that's all you need to do to set up um, this whole setup. Now, I know I, I sent you these charts, um, and this is more if you're having issues with the tilt down, um, or if you're having issues with the tilt up, um, the way it lifts, certain auxiliary, then you would play with these functions. Um, but to do the actual, the basic setup, all you need to do is set up the code, set up hydraulic potentiometer, and then set up traction potentiometer. So, following these instructions, it says uh, for traction potentiometer, you're going to go to function 32. So using A, and then C to increase, go to function 32. Function 32, set up a 10, right? <clears throat> 32 ton, 32 ton. And it says using the D button, you'll decrease it to 3200. So what you want to do is use a D button to decrease. You want to set it at 3200. This tells the truck you're entering calibration mode, right? Uh, but this is for the hydraulic. Uh, mine handles having issues with the hydraulic, but pretty much what it is is you set it up at 3200. Then you go up, hold for two seconds, down, hold for two seconds, up, hold for two seconds, down, hold for two seconds. Once you've done that, reset to neutral. Using the C button, hit 3201, and then you can press the B button. You can press the B button, and then when you move it, you'll see that it responds. See? 
So my issue is there, the, the track spot, but um, this 82 should be moving. Oh, actually there it is, like that. So I'm pressing the B button only, right? And what this does, it lets you see the um, the pot. Just lets you see the pot more, so it's kind of hard to... So I'm, I'm literally, this is me pressing it down. Down, and then up. Uh, that's kind of hard to do it with one hand. <laughs> that's up, right? Up, down, and this is me holding B. So once I let go of B, it'll go back to the 3201. And that means that the calibration has saved for traction, or for hydraulic. For traction, you would go to function 34. 34, 10, you see that? Same thing as the other one, you use D to go all the way down to 3400. 0, 0. And then, um, same thing, you perform the hydraulic. So up for two seconds, down for two seconds, up for two seconds, down for two seconds. Leave it neutral. Using C, change to 3401. And then with B, holding B down, you should get to see, again, the movement in the pot. Uh, but obviously mine's having the issue, but uh, you should see this move around, right? You see this F00 move around. Um, once you've done that, you use A, D. Uh -oh. I went out of there. I exited. Yeah. AC, and then you use this to go to function 30, function 30, it should show 3050, if you look, function 30, it should show, uh, where are we, 3050, press and hold B, and press C, and it should go, go leave, so you press and hold B, press and hold C, and it'll exit calibration, um, and then it'll power on. See this? Lost MIP signal. So I gotta recalibrate, but um, so once uh, yours should show up, power on, and then um, or I guess if the calibration is done correctly, it'll show power on. It'll say step on the pedal and accelerate. It should have all the functions. So mine right now, I gotta I gotta recalibrate. Um, and it's what it is is it's the, the one of the potentiometers didn't get a reading, um, and that's why it's showing as if the calibration failed in a sense. Um, but if you Follow just the, the, those instructions. It should work on yours. Um, first step, obviously, A and C. A and C. First step, A and C. A and C, and then... Oops, what the heck is going on? A and C, and then you set up function one. After function one is set up for your um, 21, you use uh, A and C obviously to function through, to cycle through. To cycle through to function, oops, not 30. Um, 32, right? Move this down to zero using D. To 3200 or 3200 um, for the hydraulic. Obviously, back two seconds, down two seconds, back two seconds, down two seconds. And leave it neutral. Use C to move up to 3201, and then you move on to using A and C to function 34. Once at function 34, you use D to go down. Or actually, I can show you that part. Once in function 34, you use D to scroll down to 30. Three four zero zero, um, and then same thing. Uh, up two seconds, down two seconds, up two seconds, down two seconds. Leave it neutral. Uh, using C, move from thirty four zero zero to thirty four zero one to save the hydraulic settings. Um, once that's set, then you use A C. Oops, I'm sorry, A D to scroll down to thirty fifty, and then. 
B, hold B and hold C to exit the program. Then it should power up and you should be able to move. And that's how you perform a calibration.